Alrighty, we're back at it again with Choosing Beggars. I think this time we're gonna do a top 10, because some of the posts can get a little bit long with all the text, but they deserve our undivided attention, not skipping around a whole bunch here and there. If you haven't been on the sub before, it's a place where people who um, are not really offering anything are very picky about the things that they are receiving for free. Kind of like me, with my $2 uh, bit minimum on on Twitch. Sorry, you'd like to give me a dollar? No, you can't do that. I only accept two dollars minimum. <laughs> oh, is this a self roast? Yes, it is. I do that just because when I tried it with a low lower threshold, like the notifications were just going crazy, and I couldn't possibly keep up. So I was like, we need to strike a balance between usability for the content and the amount. And anyway, I I probably seem like a total fool, but. Uh, yep, anyway, all right, starting off with number 10. Uh, can I get a, a discount with my discount? Delivery is on us. Order from Chipotle, National Burrito Day. Hmm, for Burrito Day, you think there'd be some kind of discount? Um, sir, free delivery is a discount. Uh, it usually costs something. Yeah, man, Chipotle, you guys have learned here that what you need to do in the future is just say that instead of free delivery, you get $3 off your order, but you also have to pay for delivery. It's a less clean way to state things and requires a lot more text on the sign, but at least then people like this will understand that they are in fact saving money because they would have had to pay for delivery otherwise. Some people just don't understand that because they, they don't tip the delivery driver when they order pizza and they also don't see that there is in fact a delivery fee that you pay on top of that. They just don't check the invoice. So sorry about that guys. You'll get them next time. Rethink your marketing campaign. It's too simple, too straightforward. Asks roommate to pay utilities bill that's nine days past due. Hey, utilities from last month were $70 and still have to be paid to the apartment people. Do you need me to do another rent breakdown? I know you said you weren't going to pay utilities in your email and I don't know what that means. I'm not gonna pay the $100 for the one you just sent me until we figure it out. But I didn't know I still owed 70, sorry. No worries. Hey, just a friendly reminder, you still owe utilities and I don't wanna get a pass to you from the landlords and we're trying to lower the bill for this month. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm waiting to get paid, I don't have enough. I greatly appreciate if you were mindful of paying utilities on the date they are due, which is the same every month, the first revolutionary timing and planning accordingly. I send you the bill every time and every time I get this, and this is the second time this has happened in the last three months, and I don't like having to text you about paying bills. Yeah, my bad that me or my family isn't rich and I had to help my mom with the water bill because her landlord shut it off. You're right, I'll just let her go without water next time. Taylor, I pay all my own bills and work my ass off. All I'm asking is you plan and pay your bills so that my credit score isn't affected. Not that much to ask. You do understand it's frustrating to watch you buy multiple bottles of alcohol over the weekend and leave the price stickers on, eat out multiple times a week, and buy unnecessary plants when utilities are due. I manage my money budget and eat out once a week so that I pay my bills in full and on time. I suggest you do the same and stop making excuses. Lol, I shouldn't even dignify that short with an answer. I found out Monday night that she needed help, but of course you wouldn't understand with you are rich ass family and all your vacations and family homes everywhere. Oh, thank goodness I've never had to live with a roommate. Not that this is a, you know, normal situation to have happen with everyone, but you just never know when you get into things with people. It could be your best friend and they could turn into a total nightmare as soon as you start living with them. <sighs> I, I realize I'm in a privileged situation to live on my own and I, I don't take, I try not to take that for granted, but it's just, I would do anything in my power. I would live in a 200 square foot closet if it meant not having a, a roommate. How's your giveaway going to feed my family if you're not giving out money? Hi, I love your giveaway idea, but I think you should give out the cost of the painting to the winner. Your art is cool, but like someone like me is not really interested in getting a piece of painting. You get a lot more attention this way. Hi, I know you're an artist and your brand is, is about art and stuff, but instead of, you know, giving away your art, could you just give money to people? Cause that would, that would be a better giveaway. I think for me personally, because you know, I, I'm gonna win the giveaway, uh, guaranteed, even though a lot of people are probably entering and I prefer cash. 
Uh, so you're asking me to offer cash instead. Basically, I mean, what am I supposed to do with a painting? Plus, if you're giving away the painting, you're already losing money. Might as well just offer to give out that money, obviously. The only logical. You can even send it through Money Grammar Gift Rocket. Like, there's some options for you sending this cash to me when I win the giveaway. Sorry you feel that way, but I'm not gonna give away cash. Hope you find another giveaway that fits your requirements. Your loss. I'm not even gonna follow you or enter your stupid contest now, dude. I would have been the most dedicated follower and I would have liked all your posts, but you're not even gonna give me money, so um, I'm sorry about that. Fork you. How are people supposed to feed their family? With your art? I don't know, maybe get a job. How about maybe you put a good giveaway where you actually give out things people want? Fork off, I'm blocking you. You can't even give me the win in your giveaway that's not money. Am I supposed to eat this paper? A quest in old school RuneScape where you have to give food to a starving man in a cave. This is what happens when you give two times the same food. Sarissus rejects the food. It seems he would rather some variety. Click here to continue. <laughs> he appreciates your effort, but would rather not. Can you please return with some exotic Wagyu beef? How are my kids supposed to live without juice? Seriously? With the thousands upon thousands of dollars being raised and food collected, this is what the Fred Fredericton Food Bank gave us for Christmas dinner? I am stunned! Not even a bottle of juice for my children. Please, don't get me wrong. I'm forever grateful to have the resource of the food bank, but I want to know where all that money and food went to. A turkey, a five pound bag of potatoes, two boxes of stuffing, a bag of carrots, a bag of apples, a bag of oranges, one can of string beans, one can of cranberry sauce, and a loaf of bread, one box of chocolates, and a dozen sugar cookies. Why didn't we even get juice? Or butter? This has to be a joke. It can't not be a joke. This can't be real. Come on. A high school acquaintance hit me up asking for earrings. Last time we spoke, she was absolutely off the shorts and called me slurs. So I don't know what she was expecting. Oh boy, here we go. Hey girl, how's it going? Hi, what's up? I just wanted to say hi. Don't be so suspective. No, it's suspicious. Not su suspective's not a word. Sorry, lol, we just haven't talked in a while, so I figured something was up if you were texting me. No, I saw you made those cute earrings uh, for blank, and I totally reminded me to check in with you. Yeah, this is fun to make. How are you? I'm so busy. I'm having dinner with blank next weekend, and I have nothing to wear. I have so much shopping to do, lol. Oh, lol, but you like shopping, right? Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, but I'm totally lost on what to wear for jewelry. Could you make me some? I'd be so grateful. <laughs> <laughs> I would, no reason I was reaching out. I just, wow, while we're on the topic of talking to each other, wow, those are cool earrings. Are you sure? I only really make earrings, plus don't use conventional materials unless you want fish bait earrings. I don't know if I can help you. No, no, no. I was hoping you'd get some, like, the ones you made for blank, the pom-pom ones. Uh, those are custom made. It'll take me a week to make them, and I'll need to ship them to you, so you might not get it in time. I think you should just hit up Target or something. Sorry. But can you just work on them over the weekend and ship them overnight on Monday? It's pom-pom glued to a wire. Uh, nah, sis, I take five classes worth three jobs. It requires time to glue those pom-poms to a wire. I could shoot for them being done on Wednesday or Thursday and overnight them to you, but you'd have to pay more for the shipping if that's okay. How much shipping? Uh, I don't know, last time I shipped a package overnight, it was like $30, but also it's a big package, so I don't know how much the earrings will cost you. Overall, if you can put the price like $10 for the earrings, that's a steal. Uh, $20 for shipping, if you want to pay me the $10, you can Venmo me the shipping fees once I figure out how much it'll be. Blank said uh, you made hers for free. Yeah, they were her birthday present, and also she's my friend. I'm your friend too, oh my god, did you just forget all the junior, senior year? We were like the best buddies ever, There's so many good times and memories. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, you forget sophomore year when you spread a rumor that I was lesbian and nobody would stand near me in the locker rooms of senior year when you spread the rumor that I was Jewish. Is is that is that like bad? Kind of uh, kind of strange. Um, or March when you uh, boy oh boy this, this uh, seems like a this this is a wow all right I think I'm being really forgiven by just answering your text and and giving you the time of day even when you've treated me like short with no apology just pay me for my earrings or don't get them at all don't be like that I was so young when the whole locker room stuff happened I was high off my ass when I called you that I didn't mean it so earrings right anyway yeah uh, sis you never apologized for any of it though you said hey sorry I was wow in high school in school boy oh boy. This is this has gone downhill real quick. 
I feel like I'm I'm being privy to some really intimate drama here that I. <laughs> Uh, okay, so anyway, I uh, wanted free earrings, not getting free earrings. Uh, choosing beggar doesn't get invited to a bachelorette party because she's a downer. She threw a giant fit until the bride finally said, What the hell, you can come the next day, bride and 17 females received this email from choosing beggar. Choosing beggar is not the bride or in the bridal party and was invited out of pity. I can't. Hi all, I'm really excited for our upcoming trip to Vegas. I think it'll be such a good time, and we'll all finally get to bond. I know Vegas is known as Sin City, but despite this, I still have to uphold the moral code our father inscribed in my heart. Due to this, I have some ground rules that I'd like everyone to follow on the trip that I had to beg to join everybody else on and wasn't really invited on. Sunday the 12th, I have found an appropriate church and contacted the pastor there explaining that we're from out of town, but we'd still like to attend services. Sunday at 7.15 a.m. we'll be Ubering to church. I can't wait to share God with all of you. I think it'll be a nice way to cleanse us of our sins from that week. Okay, I just want to clarify it. Like, by all means, if you're religious and go to church, that's, that's great. Um, but... We're thinking about this from a perspective of not inconveniencing other people, which is my moral code. I live my life trying to be as minimally invasive on other people as possible. In the hotel room, no hard liquor. I don't want people getting inebriated and falling from the balcony. <laughs> well, you'll be happy to know that in many places in Las Vegas, many hotels, uh, they actually don't have balconies. And sometimes if there's a window, they even put bars on it so that you can't accidentally end up outside. A lot of people end up drunk in Las Vegas and they don't want that on their hands. Uh, anyway, also, this is my first time being of age and in an environment with prevalent drinking. I don't want to be tempted by these foul drinks. I'm not sure how I'll react to rum or tequila and, and vodka. And I'd like to test these in more controlled environments. Please, stick to light beers and red wines, okay? Thank you. Very much appreciated. There will be no sex taking place in our hotel rooms anywhere in the suite. As none of us have committed ourselves to husbands yet, there is no need for premarital sex. You may, you must follow all of my rules to the, the T. I'm now our, our guide. Uh, please don't invite random men back to the suite. I do not see a need for them to be there and know where we're staying. I don't want to be robbed. Thank you. Please Venmo me $50 each. Whoa, all right, wow. It escalated even further. I will be buying groceries for the hotel room. The last thing we need is to be famished in that desert heat. Well, you'll be really happy to hear the hotels there. They spend a lot of money on their air conditioning systems. It's all really great temperatures on the inside. It's actually really impressive. Absolutely under no circumstances, no drugs. Half of your current, have you currently work in positions that require you to have security clearances? Really? Wow, this is fancy bachelorette party, people. Anyway, and I do not want you to be tempted by these substances. I'm your boss. Um, drugs bring nothing but problems. Please leave your Adderall at home. I understand if you have a medical condition, but as we will not be. So oh, wait. She's actually saying, do not bring your own prescription medications with you. You know, if you have a medical condition, I'm sure you'll be fine for a few days. That's all for now, but I'm sure more will come up as time draws closer. Can't wait to see you all. That's gonna be a no from me, dog. Fork you and your bubble tea. None of you can spare 14 forking dollars? Are you serious? Looks a guy with bubble tea. That bubble tea had to cost $12, right? Fork all of you! Says the really aggressive guy looking for money on the subway. <laughs> Excuse me, but I need a super duper deluxe lunch, okay? None of that dollar menu stuff, all right? You give me a dollar, I'm gonna throw it out the gap next time we get to a stop, all right? You think I'm only worth your dollar, you cheap fork? You know, I know how many people here work in finance here in New York. You're managing billions of dollars and you can't give me 14. Choosing beggar thinks I'm a chat bot. Best price for the uh, four player? Hey, it'll be uh, 2200. Prices are on the website, prices are fixed. Nah, I won't pay that much. All right, well, uh, cool. I guess that ends that real quickly. No problem. So what's the best price? 2200, all prices on the website, prices are fixed. Nah, it's too expensive trying to negotiate a price. Sorry, I'll price to fix unless you're ordering five or more. Are you a chatbot? Yes. I speak to a real person. I, I am, sir. No, you're not. You keep repeating a script. So customer service complaints put me through to customer service. Put me through to complaints. Why well, speak to the management? Please. 
putting you through a real person now. Hi, I'm a real person. I've looked at your query. Prices are all under the ads fixed, non-negotiable, unfortunately. Surely you can do better. Unfortunately, grant prices are fixed, just like any other store. So no best price unless you're ordering five or more. Sorry, mate. I want two. That's that's two times 2,200. That's price on the website, best for two. Sorry, I misunderstood. That'll be 2,200 times two. No discount for two. Wait, are you a bot? To proceed further, you'll need to prove you're not a robot. Bark you and your stupid machines. Please type in the word that appears in this image. Scrotum. <laughs> I, you know what, next time around that I'm ordering something on Amazon, I'm gonna send them an email and be like, hi, so I see that this is the price listed, but you can do better than that, right? And they'll be like, no, sir, actually we're, I'm just customer support at a multi-billion dollar company that doesn't care about your specific negotiation. So, no, but I know you, it says it's $2,500 for this TV, but you can do better than that, right? Like, that's just the starting point here on Amazon. We negotiate everything, it's, right? Two years ago, I saw that guy with the gas can begging for money, tried to give him $4, but he said he doesn't take anything less than five. After that, I saw him there every day for months. Turns out he's a fraud with a new Jeep and a nice house. Been following him with this sign since. Huh, this must be like a, um, a, a meta post. <laughs> OP has no life. <laughs> All he does is follow this other man around with the sign. <laughs> Maybe I've committed too far to this whole act here. <laughs> ah, good times, good times. That's it for the uh, last month of top 10 choosing beggars even though it was top 10 it went on longer than a usual video make sure to like if you like check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch the other one of these subscribe if you're not already and um music in the background linked in the outro and description on mirror music i'll see you next time oh.